Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Today I am going to show you something that I really shouldn't have. <laughs> it's my birthday next week and last weekend or the one before Dave asked me what I would like for my birthday and I said I've kind of seen something on Facebook marketplace place for £35 and it looks good and um, he said is it another doll's house? I said it's a kind of a, a shop with a downstairs and upstairs and it's only 20 minutes away so guess what yes we got in the car we drove to Croxteth in Liverpool and we picked up I think it's in Liverpool and we picked up this doll's house shop thing I know I'm I know you think I'm mad I am mad I know that I've already got a doll's house that I'm in the process of doing up a box shop front box kit that I'm in the process of doing up uh, I was almost finished that actually I mean those two things are always finished then I've got another old shop box thing that I bought which I haven't started yet and now I've bought this stop judging me it's my birthday soon anyway so this it is it it kind of looks like a house a bit doesn't it it's a brilliant fixer upper I'm so excited about it because the basics are there but it all needs a revamp really and that's going to be really fun to do there's no loft space the roof comes off but there's no loft space so that would be good for I don't know storage or doing lighting or something it's got this on the front which I thought might be something to do with Doll's House Emporium I wasn't sure but anyway when you look at it it's held on with a piece of disgusting blue tack so that's something I can work on. Um, it's got a nice little bay front window. The door is in there, but it's broken a little bit and it's kind of missing. I might be able to fix it, I'm not sure. When you open it up, it actually opens up separately. This was held in place with Velcro, but that's just pulled off the wallpaper on here. So when you open it up inside, you've got, um, let me see what you can see. You've got a nice little, um, upstairs area that we can use for a stock room and somewhere for the shopkeeper to hang out and downstairs you've got that nice little space to make a shop that's what i think um the this door here is it well, everything needs work so i'm going to try and move in and show you here's the upstairs this light is wired in with some lights coming out the back but i don't know if it works and i don't really know how to check yet um it's very pretty it's got a nice little fireplace uh, obviously the wallpaper is extremely faded some of the other bits could do with a freshen up but you know as I say it's mostly a sound <clears throat> now I'm going to go downstairs I love this cranking facility on my uh, tripod <laughs> okay so downstairs it's nice it looks good and um, you can see there that we've got that door and I know that it was used as a shop before because a little sign saying it's a cake shop but it's not going to well, you can't read that but I, it's not going to be a cake shop for me look how faded that is though so it's been a while right um it's not going to be a cake shop for me i've already got that covered with my other shop here's the door it's where it fixes into the frame it's like broken so i don't know if i'll be using that or not certainly won't be having big blobs of blue tack on it the person who had the shop before was addicted to blue tack up we go again here is the inside of the front windows and as you can see there's some disgusting yellowy kind of glue stuck on things. Um, I took down the curtain on this one here. The curtain's just glued there with horrible yellow glue and you've got like bead caps and some more of the uh, blue tack on the end of a kind of metal rod to make a curtain rail. Um, I'll have to repaint all this obviously and what I might do because I don't think I can really get this out to repaint it the perspex is kind of boxed in what I might do is just run a little piece of wood along the edges on the inside and, and paint that this what is it I don't even know more blue tack um, there's the other window we had some in there we've got some here kind of a bit of blue tack shoved down that gap and with something in it, it's meant to represent a flower I think it's horrible <laughs> I mean when I say run wood along here I might make a sort of windowsill in this bit don't know um, but yeah it's just shabby it just wants fixing up so it's really fun for me because that's I'd love to do that 
here's the downstairs window and as you can see lots more of that horrible glue that's gone yellow but these actually look as if they'll come out they just sit in there so what I might do with those is actually replace the perspex knock it out clean these up paint them white and put the perspex back in in a better way with better glue um, there's some old posters on the wall with blue tack <laughs> um, that's not going to happen for me oh there's some opening times that's quite fun all going to be taken off and revamped got to paint these horrible pieces here and um, I've got to fix the door into there but I mean generally speaking it's a it's a nice building again um, downstairs we have wires coming out the back for light the light um, yeah just readjust the camera again to finish on the whole I think the house is a good one I think it's got what well, house box shop thing whatever it is is a good one I think it's a fun renovation project these kind of wooden slatted tile things on the roof I can they just need repainting um, I might paint that bit of the chimney pot red instead of white um, the sides of the house if you can make that out from there no you can't sides of the house are kind of shabby the whole thing just needs uplifting revamping and i think it's going to be really beautiful if i'll fiddle around with the wires for the lighting or just put in some um, battery lights but yeah i'm really excited about it and what a brilliant birthday present for me uh, <laughs> and what a challenge to the storage in my house there's the other if you if, I, if you look around hang on there's the other one there's my um shop that i'm building from the, from from the kit I'll show you that other shop when it's installed because we're going to put it in amongst our DVDs downstairs. And yeah, so it's an addiction, I'm starting to think. But um, leave your comments and questions down below and uh, tell me what you think of the new shop and tell me to stop buying shops and houses, dolls' houses, because it's not that big in here. Um, is there anything else I can think of? Oh, um, yeah, I... I I will urge people, if you've got a doll's house or whatever, to collect perspex. Um, Dave bought a big um, set of Star Wars stuff and they had a huge sheet of sort of perspex -y plastic stuff in it. It's so useful, um, especially stuff you can, that's kind of stiff, but you can cut it up with scissors. Definitely treat yourself to any of that if you see it on a food container or something. Because if you're going to do up a doll's house, there's nothing like having alternative window panes at your disposal okay i don't think there's anything else i can tell you yeah i will give you an update as soon as possible oh and i've got a couple of book reviews coming up that i think people who are interested in dolls houses and paula mcclay or paula mcclay are going to find um interesting all right thank you very much uh, i love you all bye